the Trading Desk of DailyForex.com. This is Christopher Lewis looking at the upcoming June 19th Forex session. In front of you is the Aussie CAD pair. It's not one we look at very often, but it is interesting uh, to look at it right now just simply because of the price action that we're having. As you can see, I have a couple different lines drawn on this chart, and I would draw your attention more importantly to the parity one than, than the other, the 107, which was the high. Looking at this chart, the fact that we formed a hammer on Tuesday is significant in the sense that we had formed a hammer the previous week. We have shot straight up. We've come back down. We found a little bit of support. Another thing that's interesting, though, is that the Monday candle is uh, a shooting star, which, of course, shows resistance, like we should continue to sell off. What I find in this chart, when I look about it and I uh, and I think about it from a fundamental standpoint we have two currencies uh, that are both commodity currencies but there is a major difference in Australia you unfortunately for them at least have a dependence on the Asian economy Australia tends to export copper gold uh, iron and other hard base and precious metals to Asia well, with the weakening of the Chinese data, that, of course, has a lot of people spooked about Australia. And that, of course, is a drag on the economy. On the other hand, the Canadians send 85% of their exports south of the border down to the United States. And with the U.S. having one of the stronger economies right now in the developed world, that, of course, is good for the Canadian economy. So it makes sense that the Aussie, which is falling against everything, really, uh, also falls against the Canadian dollar, even though, in general, commodity markets are so-so. Looking at this chart, uh, the fact that we have this shooting star here and this hammer here that sits on top of support, I suspect that we will probably continue higher. What I do find interesting, though, is this cluster right here at parity, and as a result, I will be watching this pair, and any signs of weakness at parity, I would jump all over. Uh, I would go ahead and start selling. I have no interest in going long at this point. Uh, I just don't think that it's the prudent thing to do. If we get over 1.01, then you have an argument for a longer trade. But with a sell-off like this, that normally means something. And as a side note, you can see the parity is the 38.2%, a nice retrace level to get involved in. And as such, uh, I'm going to simply sit on the sidelines and see if I get that set up. If I don't, and we break the bottom of this candle, this, this hammer down here, then that is a sell signal in and of itself.